Guys, as a remodeling contractor, I'm a huge fan of ratcheting and multi-bit screwdrivers. They allow for multiple tool options in one tool. I recently came across this roll gear uh, multi-bit screwdriver and it has a unique innovative gear mechanism. And what I mean by that is it's completely silent. There is no lost motion in this driver. Unlike geared screwdrivers where, you know, you have to click through the gears, there's no lost motion. The, the roll gear screwdriver has super smooth action. You can really, really dial it in. Uh, it's forward and backward motions are silent and you can lock it in a center position to lock it so you can do adjustment work like uh, lining up switch plate screws or something. The handle itself has a rounded uh, triangle shape, high friction rubber for decent grip and there are three flat spots and that prevents the screwdriver from rolling away on the floor or on a tabletop. As far as adjusting it, I love it because you can use one hand to do everything. Finger and forefinger can adjust the ratchet, turn it to the right for forward use, turn it to the left for uh, reverse use and then you gotta find a little, it's kind of a sweet spot, you gotta lock it in the middle to get it to lock in place. Uh, it took me a little bit to kind of get it because if you turn too far, you've, you've gone past it. Uh, the multi-bit screwdriver has a quarter inch drive like a lot of them do and a fairly strong magnet. There are seven three inch steel bits and um, they range from uh, two slotted at three sixteenths to a quarter inch, four square bit, zero, one, two, and three, uh, four Phillips, zero, one, two, and three, and then there's four Torx bits, 10, 15, 20, and 25. The bits all insert into the driver's holder shaft here, and they sink in about seven eighths of an inch, and then they get held in place by a strong magnet. Because of that seven eighths of an inch depth, uh, the screwdriver really does not allow one inch bits. They sink too deep, and then you can't get them out without a needle nose pliers. Huge bummer. Um, the other six bits, when not in use, are all stored in the handle, the carousel, carriage of the handle, and they just slide in and insert in. Um, in order to get a bit out, you just take the working bit that you have and push the bit that you want forward. And then there are these embedded little magnets in the carriage holder that actually hold the bit for you so it doesn't fall out. So you can do this all kind of very easily. It will fall though, it's not that strong. <laughs> Um, this driver allows for really efficient fastening with minuscule hand twists and that's what I like about this, this smooth motion. It keeps your wrists more neutral and it's a more intuitive and more smoother way to, to install uh, fasteners. As far as weight goes, it's fairly lightweight. I've been wearing it in my belt, not a problem. Um, this driver will even install really loose screws and you know sometimes you have to kind of hold on to the screw to get the ratcheting screwdriver to kind of engage the threads. This doesn't do that. You can just keep spinning it because it's so smooth, you're not turning the screw, you're just turning the driver. I really like that and I really like that I could use this thing with one hand. Um, forward, reverse, lock. All done with one hand. I don't have to take my other hand. It could be using something or holding something down. Um, I noticed one thing about the printing, the, the ink that shows the left right lock on this green little adapter. By putting it in and out of my tool pouch a few times, it started to rub off. Um, so I would I'd probably advise the Roll Gear to maybe improve the printing or the, the ink a little bit. I'd also ask him to consider making this usable with one inch bits. Um, overall, this thing measures eight and three quarter inches long and sometimes you might want to downsize it a little bit. So. Uh, my guess is the reason why you have these three inch long bits is they, they fit nicely within the handle. They were matched to the handle. Um, the other thing I wanted to point out is if you pick this thing up out of your tool bag or your tool pouch and you hold, grab it by the handle and you shake it just a little bit, it will come out. Uh, so the, the ma maybe the magnet in that could be just a little, little bit stronger. I like that these are made by a family owned company in British Columbia, Canada. The Swiss founder, his name is Robert Suter, he invented this technology. It's really cool stuff, guys. The Roll Gear Multibit Silent Screwdriver is going to run about $25. And as far as I'm concerned, that cost is on par with any ratcheting screwdriver out there for the most part. Um, Roll Gear also offers personalization of the, of the uh, handles. So you can put your business or personal marketing purposes, put your name. Uh, really nice touch, you know, you could put your company name on all your screwdrivers or something. Um, overall, 
This is probably one of the smoothest screwdrivers I've ever used, ratcheting screwdrivers. Time will tell if it's built to last, but I'm gonna have a lot of fun finding out. It's a real nice, nice driver. Check it out, I'm Rob Robillard. Leave me a comment what you think about this screwdriver, and we'll see you next time. Take care.